I need two wings, two wings to veil my feet. Two wings, two wings to fly away. I know the world ain't good and go on. Amen. And the redeemer of the Lord said, Amen. Amen. I, I feel like flying away. <laughs> Amen. Indeed, we are thankful to the God of heaven for, again, the privilege to just be in the house of worship. Uh, amen. Y'all sound like y'all want to have some church up in here. Amen. Amen. Thank our song leaders for an excellent job. Thank you, Brother Moore, and thank you, Brother Story, and thank you, Brother Fleming. Amen. And all that have participated thus far in our devotional service, indeed, you are to be commended unto God. Amen. Amen. What a beautiful day that the Lord has blessed us with. Amen. We ought to be, we ought to be thankful uh, and enjoying what a beautiful day it is. So good to see everyone who have graced our audience on this morning. We're, we're, we're just thankful to God for you. Uh, for those that are visiting with us on today, indeed you are honored guests. It's good to have you here at the Church of Christ at Green Meadow. Amen, amen. I, I, I'm like you, Brother Story. I'm still full. Amen. I had a good bowl of grits. Amen. <laughs> amen. Again, want to thank the brothers for an outstanding job. Uh, and again, to sisters, you, you, you deserve more than that, but just take that, amen, as our token of appreciation for what you do in this congregation here, amen, amen. It is, it is Mother's Day, and I know you've heard many say, and indeed I'll say it as well, happy, happy Mother's Day uh, to all the mothers uh, that are present in the house. I'm reminded of uh, Moses, God's man servant, uh, in the book of Genesis, chapter number two, and, and around verse number 18, Moses uh, pins these words. And the Lord God said, it's not good that man should be alone. He said, I will make and help meet for him. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. Whatsoever, whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all the cattle, to all the fowl of the air, to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found any help meet for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman. Somebody ought to say amen. <laughs> made he a woman. Brought her unto the man. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bone. Flesh of my flesh, she shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore, shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And they both were naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Again, happy Mother's Day. Thank God he put Adam to sleep. Hello, somebody. And he took a rib. Closed him back up. Gave him a help me. Again, it's just good to be here. I, I, I'm kind of full this morning, y'all. Y'all just kind of uh, kind of indulge me for a minute. Amen. They have made me happy. But there is a word from the Lord. And, and before we approach the word this morning, and 
I, I do want to say thank you to those who traveled with us on Monday night uh, to Ova Villa, Philadelphia, the country where we had a good time in the Lord. There's a word from the Lord. There's a story about a woman found in the four Gospels. Matthew chapter 26, Mark chapter 14, Luke chapter 7, and John chapter 12. One of the few stories that have been proclaimed by all the gospel writers. Uh, a lot of times when we, uh, when we see a story, maybe one writer writes about it, or maybe even two, but uh, very rarely do we have all four gospel writers writing on the same incident or the same story. These four writers proclaim this great story. They vary in their context, but yet they all point to the same foundation of this great story. If you allow me this morning to look at Mark's version of this story, Mark chapter 14, and we're going to begin reading at verse number 1 and conclude at verse number 9. Thank you, Brother Pele, for the reading of that text, Brother Russell, for taking us to the throne. Mark 14 and the verses number one. And after two days was the feast of the Passover and of unleavened bread. And the chief priests and the scribes sought how they might take him by craft, put him to death. But they said, not on the feast day, lest there be an uproar of the people. Being in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, he said at me, there came a woman having an alabaster box of ornament of spikenard, very precious. And she broke the box and poured it on his head. There were some that were there that had indignation with themselves and say, why was this waste of ornament made? For it might have been sold for more than 300 pence or 300 denarii and have been given to the poor and they murmured against her. Jesus said, let her alone. Why trouble her? She had wrought a good work on me. For ye have the poor with you always, and whensoever ye will, ye may do them good, but me you have not always. Y'all stay with me. She had done what she could. She has come aforehand to anoint my body for my burying. Verily or truly I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel, shall be preached throughout the whole world. This also that she had done shall be spoken of for a memorial of her. Allow me to use for my subject a high-class woman living in a low-class world. I said, a high-class woman living in a low-class world. For your consideration, I want to use four profound spiritual conduits to electrify this message. Mother's Day seemed to bring lesson that commends and exalt and even exhort mothers. Over the years, uh, I found myself every Mother's Day with a message on my heart to mothers. I've, I've used women in general. 
I've talked about a woman by the name of Hannah. I, I, I talked about a woman by the name of Ruth. One by the name of Sarah and even talked about Eve and I've talked about Rachel and I've talked about Bathsheba. I've talked about the only woman judge we find in the Bible, Deborah. I've talked about Priscilla and Aquila. I've talked about Esther and I've even talked about Lydia and I've talked about Mary and Martha and I've talked about Mary, the mother of Jesus, and, and many, many more have I used. Never have I focused on the woman who has been elevated to a state of preeminence. According to Mark chapter 14 and verse number 9, Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, wherever... This gospel is preached throughout the world forever. This will be a memorial unto her. I, I don't know if you can get a hold of that today. This woman has been set up by Jesus for what she had done to him. Hello, somebody. Jesus said, wherever the gospel, y'all know how long the gospel going to be preached? The gospel going to be preached until Christ come back. He said, for as long as the gospel is preached, what she did is a memorial. I, I don't know if I can get y'all excited or not about this. But, 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 but I see something here. I, 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 I see something that really touched his heart. Hello, somebody. You got to understand the text now. It, it, it's just two days before the feast of the Passover. Jesus already knows that it's not going to be long before he's on his way to the cross. He said, no, they're not going to do it right now because if we do, that's going to be an uproar. Hello, y'all. But just a couple of days later, they're down in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, and he's sitting at a table. Am I right about it? The Bible said he's sitting at meat, and, and, and if you have an opportunity, go back and look at all the different texts and see the context of the text. But he's sitting at the table, walks in this woman, hello somebody, had not been announced anywhere, but she Walks in, uh, I would say she walked in boldly. They're all sitting at, at the table and they're all enjoying a meal and walks in this woman. She walks in with a, with a box of a spikenard, a, a, a box of fragrance, a, 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 some very expensive perfume. And, 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 and the Bible said she pulled it. Hello, somebody. I better get back up here before I get too excited. She pulled it on his head. Am I right about it? One text says that she, she, she took a hair and, and wiped his feet. Hello, somebody. I, 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 I need you to understand just a, a little bit more about, uh, uh, about this woman. I, 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 I wish I had time to give you four points, but I, I know you got to go. I, I need you to watch her grand entrance. Hello, somebody. Uh, and, and I'm going to share just a little bit with you. Uh, uh, watch her grand entrance, and then, 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 then I need you to watch her attitude. Watch the humbleness that she portrays uh, 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 within herself. Uh, watch how uh, uh, she carries herself. Then I, I, I need you to see how she spared no expense. I call it the best for the best. Hello, somebody. She brought the best because she came to anoint the best. 
I need you to see the grand entrance. I, I, I need you to see the humbleness in her attitude. I need you to see how she spared no expense for my Lord. And then I want you to see the lasting impression that she had on Jesus. I, I said the lasting impression that she had on Jesus. Scripture says, Scripture says she, she came in. Amen. I call her high class because the way she conducted herself. Hello, somebody. You see, there's a way that a lady, can I go on and preach? <laughs> there's a way a lady ought to conduct herself. Hey, hey Amen. I don't care where she come from. I don't care what side of the track she raised on. There's a way that a lady ought to. Oh, y'all looking at me funny. There's a way a lady ought to carry herself. She came in to the dinner. She didn't come in all boastful. She didn't come in all indignant. She didn't come in with a heart set on aggregate. She came in in a humble state of mind. I, 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 I wasn't there, so I don't know how she walked in, but if, if, if I could perceive in my sanctified imagination, I think she came in with a little class. Hello, somebody. Anybody got any class in here this morning? I think she came in with a, with a little class, and, 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 and then she did not uh, uh, disturb the dinner, as to per se, but she went by doing what she came to do. Uh, she went right to Jesus, and, 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 and she anointed his head. Luke says, now Luke says about her that, that, that she was a sinful woman. She was coming that she might receive some forgiveness. When you look back at the text, when you look back at history, some even said that she was one a lady of the night. I don't know, y'all. But I'm just trying to tell you, she came into the dinner a high-class woman. But I believe she was from a low-class world. <laughs> Hello, somebody. You, 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 you see, she had been caught up. Brother Taylor in some stuff that she may not have been. Hello, y'all. Have you ever been caught up in something that you wasn't proud of? Oh, y'all ain't going to help me this morning. I said, have you ever been caught up in something you wasn't proud of? No, 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 no doubt she was living in a low class world. No doubt she was all. But I don't know what happened, but she seen something about Jesus. And, and so, Brother Taylor, she goes now. Now, now Scripture don't say where she gets uh, 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 this perfume for, this ornament for. But Scripture said she came to the dinner with it. Hello, somebody. And, 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 and Scripture says that it is worth 300 denarii or 300 pence. One text says, as Pele read, it was a year. Hello, somebody. You got to love somebody to bring your whole year's salary. Hello, y'all. And all she was going to do was anoint his body. But you see, the disciples did not understand what it was all about. She was anointing his body because of his burial. I I'm just saying it wasn't going to be long, amen, before he was going to Calvary. She came in with this expensive box of spikenard and ornament and Perfume, it's been, it's been labeled many things, but whatever it was, it cost some money. It cost more than that of money. Hello, somebody. It, it, it cost more than that Calvin Klein. It cost more than that Glory Vanderbilt and, uh, and, that, and that whatever it is we use. It, it costs way more than that. And the Bible says she brought it in to the dinner. She humbled herself. She pulled it on his head. She got down on her knees, took her hair, and wiped. Hello, somebody. And wiped his feet. Oh, look at that entrance she made. Uh, she didn't come in there like no hoochie mama. Hello, somebody. She didn't come in there all loud mouth and then, hello, y'all. I've been around some women like that, but I, I'm going to leave that alone. But she came in with a little sense. She came in with a humble spirit. She came in and got on her knees. She came in and spared not the best for the best. 
went ahead and uh, anointed, uh, pulled the oil over his head, and uh, it, it ran down his body. And even scripture says she wiped his body, and then it went down to his feet, and she took a hair and 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 and, and wiped his feet, and 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 and, and Lord have mercy. And then the boys got upset. Hello, y'all. I said the boys got upset. You see, anytime you do something good, you're going to always have somebody over there going to criticize. Somebody always, hello, y'all. Somebody always got to say something about somebody that's trying to do good. The Bible said they got indignant, didn't they? They got upset. And they said, what in the world is she doing? She, she, she wasting Hello, y'all. She wasting this precious oil on Jesus. Did they not know what they were saying? I, I don't believe they knew what they were saying. She said, e -e 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 -e, they wasting this precious anointment, this precious perfume on Jesus? Lord, have mercy. And then they had the nerve to say, we could have sold this. Hello, somebody. We could have sold this, and, 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 and what money we got, we could have went and gave it to the poor. And John, you know, Judas had to speak up because Judas was upset because Judas, <laughs> you know who Judas was. Judas carried the bag. Judas was the treasure. And Judas didn't want to see nobody. Hello, y'all. Y'all ever know anybody like that? Judas wanted the money to stay with them so he can get his, so he can get his hands on it. So Judas was upset. The disciples was upset because they seen it as a waste on Jesus. But Jesus said, hold up. Hello, y'all. He said, hold up. Leave her alone. Hello, somebody. Anytime you see a sister doing good, you see a mother trying her best to take care of her children and trying her best to live right and do right, and somebody mess with her, you tell them, leave her alone. Hello, y'all. We're living in a world today where, 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 where some of our sisters are struggling, y'all. I, I said they're struggling. Some no good, y'all said I could go on the preach it. Some no good man done left him with a house full of children and no money. And she doing the best, oh, y'all ain't hearing me. She doing the best she can and then somebody got a nerve to come up and criticize. I'm just talking about a high class woman living in a low class world. <laughs> Hello somebody. Amen. Instead of commending and trying to help her, we, we, we're always trying to keep them. Y'all thought I was just going to talk about how much we love our mothers. Yeah, we love them. But there's some things we need to. Hello, somebody. That needs to be some high class. Hello, somebody. Just because you come from one side of town don't mean you got. Hello, y'all. Mean you gotta act like that. Everybody ought to have a little, a little class about them. Hello, somebody. Yeah. They say, Lord, we could have sold that and 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 give to the poor. Jesus said, Let me tell you something about the poor. The poor gonna be with you always. And, and, and I come to the realization of that as long as this world stands, there are going to be some folk that are going to be poor. That's just the way. It, hello, y'all. Now, 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 if they would let me in the government and gave me a little bit of control of the money, I could make it, Brother Joe, where everybody could have some money. But that ain't going to happen because rich folk ain't going to turn. Hello. Let me go. On. Rich folk ain't going to turn what they got to lose. There's a way that anybody in this country could be. That's another lesson. But he said, the pole going to be with you always. But for me, hello, somebody. I'm not going to be with you always. 
So what she's doing, what she is doing, she is anointing my body for my burial. Leave her alone. To the point where any time the gospel is preached, she will be made mention. Ain't that something? From the low class of the world. Now she's a high class. Hello, somebody. She probably didn't have much, y'all. I don't know how long she had to save to get a yield salary. <laughs> I, I, don't y'all get mad at me, but I'm going to say this. I don't know how many tricks she had to turn. Hello, somebody. Just going to keep it real. Hello. But what I do know is she thought enough of Jesus to come into a dinner that she was not invited to. She did not come with a non-classy act, but she came in with a classy act. She came in, she anointed his head and wiped his feet. She done it. I can't preach this. She done it with some with some class. She 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 made an entrance. She had a spirit of humility. She spared no expense for the Lord. She gave the best for the best. And therein was a lasting impression. Ladies, let me say this to you. You always want to make a lasting impression. And I'm talking about a good lasting impression. Never do you want to walk away and somebody, hello y'all, trying to figure out what just left. But you always ought to walk away and somebody says, uh, that's a classy, that's a classy lady. Amen. And as a child of God, that's how you ought to carry yourself. There ought to be a spirit of humility. Am I right? You ought to know how to walk and command a room. You see, some women can walk in a room and command that room. Hello, y'all. Have y'all ever come? Oh, y'all ain't going to help me. I, 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 I just need to know that there's somebody that can walk in a room and command a room. All eyes. And it don't have to be because they acting, acting a fool. Hello, somebody. When I frequent with Michelle when she goes, and she killed me for this, but that's all right. When she goes and, and, and she let me tag along, amen, <laughs> And, and she walk in a place. Boy, she walk in real. She just commanding the, hello somebody. She just commanding the attention of the room. Hey Amen. I'm just tagging along. I, I, I'm just saying there's a way that a, a lady ought to carry herself. I don't care, again, where she come from, how she growed up, who... I'm just talking about a high-class woman living in a low-class world. Amen, amen. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. We, 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 we grew up in the projects. Ain't nothing. I love the projects. Hello, somebody. Best years of my life. I said the best years of my life. We're in the projects. But mama, hello, <laughs> taught us a little bit about something. That when we went somewhere, we conducted ourselves like we had some sense. Hello, y'all. You you, you see, you don't have to have a project mentality because you're living, y'all ain't hear me, because you're living the project. Amen, amen, amen. You, you, You can still be somebody. Wherever you come from, wherever you're going, you can be somebody. Amen. Don't let your environment say who you are. You say who you are. Amen. 
this shall be for a memorial. She came in, Brother Nelson, commanded the room, came in with a spirit of humility. Amen, amen. Can you see her? Pour that very expensive perfume on the Lord. Them boys got mad, and she kept on doing what she was doing. Can you see them while she pouring that expensive? And they got to smelling that stuff. That stuff was smelling good. And they were saying, well, what, what are you doing? What is he doing? And, and she kept on pouring. Took that long hair and began to wipe. And they were still getting upset. But yet, she kept on. She gave the best for the best. And let me drop something in the gumbo before I take my seat. We ought to give the best for the best. Hello, somebody. We ought to take a lesson from her. We ought to take a lesson from her. We ought to give Jesus our best every time. A high class woman living in a low class world. Let me go on and close. You see, everybody looking for a good woman. I said, everybody looking for a good woman. Can I, can I say something to some young sisters? Don't just grab anything you see. Hello, somebody. I, 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 know, I, I, I know the ladies outnumber the men by quite a bit. And, uh, uh, and, 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 and you don't have much choice. Hello, somebody. I might as well tell the truth. You, you don't have much choice, but even in that choice, just don't get anything. Hello, y'all. Everybody that drives a Mercedes Benz don't mean he got a job. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Everybody that's wearing a Tom Ford suit don't mean he. Hello, somebody got a job. You, 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 you be particular about who you. Hello, y'all. I don't care how good he look. Hello, y'all. Y'all been looking too, too much Tom Jonah, the light-skinned man. And, and a dark-skinned man can be a good man. You don't have to be light. Hello, somebody. I'm talking about a man that's going to treat you like a man, treat you like a woman. A man going to be a man. I don't care what color he is. Hello, somebody. I don't care where he work here. As long as he treats you like and respect you, but you know what happens sometimes? Uh, 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 girls want the toughest thing they can find. Hello, I, I ain't never seen why good girls draw to guys that ain't going to do no good. They already know he done beat up three girls before she got to him. And then she want him. Well, what do you think he going to do? He going to beat her up too. I might as well tell the truth, y'all. That's what he going to do. His record already... If he done beat up three girls, Billy, he going to beat up the next one. That's just what he do. He beat up. <laughs> Let me leave y'all alone. He beat up girls. God said that a man should leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. Am I right? They shall be how many? They shall be one flesh. That's God's way. Man done messed it all, ain't it? Man done messed it all up. I, 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 I say to a woman, get you a good man. Just don't get any man. Get you a good man. Hey, hello, somebody. And if it takes you some time to find him, then so be it. But just don't grab the first thing that smiles at you. Hello, somebody. I need to tell you about what kind of woman you need to be. 
You see, the Lord already gave the standards. Am I right? And, and you, know, you, you, you know you can't preach a Mother's Day sermon without going to Proverbs chapter 30. It, it's just in there. It's in a preacher's DNA. If he preach a Mother's Day sermon and he don't go get a virtuous woman, he ain't, he ain't done his job. So let me go get her so y'all can say I've done my job. Watch, 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 watch what Solomon says. The words of the king, let me you the prophecy that his mother taught him. What's my son and what the son of my womb and what the son of my vows are? Uh, uh, he says, give me thy strength. But let me, let me drop on down to verse 10. That's where it gets good. He said, can, uh, who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. For the heart of her husband does safely trust in her so that uh, he shall have no need of spoil. Uh, she would do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hand. She's like the merchant ship. She bringeth her food from afar. She riseth also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her handmaidens. Her consider a field and she bought it. With the fruit of her hand, she planted a vineyard. She girded her lines with strength and strengthened her arms. She perceived that her merchandise is good. She candle her candlerella going not out by night. She laid her hands to the spindle and to her hands hold the distaff. She stretched out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reached forth her hands to the needy. She's not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are Clothed with scarlet, she maketh herself covering of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and sell it and deliver girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom and her tongue in the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children will rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also as he praised her. Many daughters have done virtually, but thou excels them all. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman that feared the Lord shall be prayed. Give her of the fruit of her hands and let her own works uh, praise her in the gates. I'm just talking about a, 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 a classy woman uh, from an unclassy world. I, I, I need you to understand today as I close now, uh, mothers are precious. Hello, somebody. I'm reminded, I'm reminded every day about how precious mothers are. Every morning, every morning, I go to the rec center, 5 o'clock in the morning, and I walk. And this old man, he told me the other day, he was 89 years old. He and I and my brother Robert, we walk a couple of laps, and then we have to leave him because he's moving a little slow, but that's all right. Every morning we come in, and every morning he says, have you talked to your mother? I said, not today, but I will today. He said, uh, remember, mothers are precious. I get a reminder every day of how precious my mother is. And I don't take my mama for granted. And I know those of you who have lost your mother, God has called them on home. You, you don't take those memories for granted that God has blessed you to have. And so on today, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. May God bless you and may God keep you is our prayer. This morning, if you're not a member of this, uh, the church that Jesus died for, the church that when he came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, when he asked his disciples, he said, to who do men say that I, the son of man, am? Some said one thing, some said another. They said John the Baptist, Elijah, Moses, one of the prophets. They, they were just calling out some stuff. Jesus looked at them and said, but who say ye that I am? Peter stood up and said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon, brother Jonah, for flesh and blood had not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. 
He said, up on this rock, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. He said, I'm going to give you some keys. I'm going to give you some keys to the kingdom. And whatsoever you shall bound on earth shall be bound on heaven. And whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Jesus said, I'm going to be of my church. Is that all right? He said, I'm going to be of my church. And then he said in the Ephesian letter, he said, I'm coming back for the church. It was still his church, y'all. So he's coming back for his church, a church without spot or wrinkle or any such thing. If you haven't been baptized, you need to be baptized. You need to be baptized into Christ. Into Christ. For the remissions of your sins. And when you come up out of the water, you are a new creature. The Bible said the Lord shall add you. Ain't that good news? Add you to the church such as should be saved. I'm glad that nobody have to vote on me because I'll still be out in the world. I, I'm glad they didn't have to have no closed door meetings on me, Pele, because I'll still be in the world. I, I, I'm glad it didn't have to go for a group of governors. Hello, somebody. Amen. I, I, I'm glad I didn't have to take no tests. Hello, y'all. I didn't have to go in a room and sit down for four hours and take a test to see do I qualify to be a child of God. I qualified to be a child of God because I was a sinner that needed saving. That's all I needed to qualify. I was a sinner that needed to be saved. Amen. And God had already laid the way out for me. Hear, believe, repent, confess, and be baptized. That's the way. That's the way. That's the only way. Folk can tell you a lot of different things, but if you want to be in Christ, if you want to be added to the body of Christ, if you want to be in the family of God named under heaven, you got to do it just like God say do it. Hello, somebody. You got to do it just like he said do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know there's some trick. You know, you know, you know, everybody's still trying to trick. Judas was still trying to trick. Just as, soon, just as soon as that girl anointed his head, Judas ran to the scribes and told him, I'll, I'll get him for you. <laughs> Hello, y'all. They went and had a closed-door meeting, and they said, what, what would it take for you to sell him out? Yeah. He said, give me 30. <laughs> All I need is 30 pieces. Here she done went and spent 300 denarios or year work of wages, and then he go sell him out for 30 pieces of silver. Lord, have mercy. If you obey, but straight away, come on back. And if you need prayer, we'll pray for you. While together we stand and sing the invitation song. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace this hour? Are you washed? Blood of the Lamb, are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless, are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucified? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood? Spotless are they white as snow. Are you washed in the blood? Amen. Let the, let the church say amen. Certainly we are. Uh,